And the FA are reportedly conscious of the uncertainty surrounding Gareth Southgate. They're, they're taking it so seriously, the possibility that Southgate will leave after next summer's Euros. Um, Simon, some people would be happy about that. Others would back Southgate, go into the Euros to come back from Germany with the trophy. And then it might be a different Absolutely. story altogether. Um, but it's reported, Danny, Danny Murphy, alongside Simon here, prior to Qatar, the FA technical director, man I've met, John McDermott, met colleagues to discuss potential successors. Now, that seems to be sense in itself because weeks weeks and months fly by and before you know where we are, we'll be at the Euros. And then if it goes pear-shaped for England, big questions like this will be asked. Absolutely. Do you have, can you trot out now who you would think your what your succession plan would be if Southgate exit stage left? Would you have the ideal obvious candidate? Not really. I mean, I think the, the talk on Eddie Howe at some point is realistic to think that somewhere down the line, but why would he move from a club that's now going to be playing in Champions League, improving all the time? Why, why would he even think of leaving Newcastle? I don't think he would, but certainly somewhere down the line, he's going to be somebody capable. Um, I think the Potter conversation's probably gone away a little bit for now. I think he's probably going to have to go somewhere and start again a little bit. Is there a man not already there? Yeah, right well, I was going to the FA. Yeah, I was going to come to that. Steve Holland. I know Steve well, and I've known him for a long time, and I've got huge admiration for him. And there's not many people I've ever met in football who know as much as he does, and loves it, and is as passionate and studies football as much as him, and a brilliant, brilliant coach, which is a different role. Um, my only concern over that would be that although it, it's fluid and it keeps everything within house. Would he be that different with his ideas and his style of play than what Gareth is? I always find that a difficult kind of conundrum to try no, and You're right. It I mean, need it, to be. Yeah. I mean, we are... We I think were, it does need to be. We were tiny bit. margins away from... And I, and I attribute those margins to Southgate's inability to make decisions at key moments. So I don't think there was an, an innate criticism of the way that we played. I don't think we were great in the World Cup. I think against the USA, we weren't great at all. But we got to a point where we were overcoming obstacles and putting ourselves in the way of big conversations, mm. European Championship finals, World Cup semi-finals, and obviously an opportunity against the French. And the difference for me between winning and losing wasn't our style of play, was a moment in time where a decision needed to be made to change the events before they unfolded in front of us to determine our destiny. Right? And Southgate didn't do that. Now, the question is, if you're making a decision about a succession programme, you look at what have you gotten right and what have you gotten wrong. So we look at this scenario of Gareth Southgate, and I think it's undeniable that he's created a far more harmonious Absolutely. England environment. And you want to maintain that. You yes. don't want another situation where Capello comes in and creates, because he's got a better credential, on paper, he creates mayhem in the culture of English football because he doesn't understand who he's relating to or equating to. So you'd want to maintain that position. Then you'd have to look about what is it that we missed. If Gareth wins the European Championship next year, which I personally don't think he will, I hope he does, but I don't think he will. I don't think right? will. And if he does, then this is a moot question mm. because he may well be in situ again. But if, if we don't, four tournaments I think is enough. I think it's time for a change. Now, if that, if that change is, say, Steve Holland because Steve Holland has given the FA enough confidence that the key components of the value that Gareth Southgate has created, which is making us competitive, harmonious, interacting with the media in a way that keeps the media on side and doesn't create this us-and-they division, then those does he have that missing ingredient that's been evident to us over four tournaments? If he doesn't, because he's part of the same regime, and you often, you know, we always that's say... We always say, don't we, you know, you people accuse people of employing what looks like them or what they can relate to, right? An echo chamber sort of mentality. So you'd have to look at that in isolation, not just because he ticks a box with the FA yeah. and not because it makes their life uncomfortable, makes their life comfortable. Should it be an Englishman in an ideal world? Would like an Englishman to be the manager of England. The only reason it shouldn't be an English should, 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 if it's not, if it's not a case that we have a person that's capable of it, then we have to look at what's best in class for us at international level. But you see, to is, take this that not, step. is this Steve, not Steve Holland, the standard I'd be happy point with, with both be... of you here, though? Da neither Danny nor you, Simon, could come in with boom. Oh, the obvious name. But hold on, hold the on. Obvious There's only name. one obvious name, and he's not English. The only, re the only one yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. If, and, if, and there's nobody if, on the planet who would be if, able to say that's I, a bad If point. I was sat there, and I was in charge of the England setup, and I was living, breathing, eating, sleeping, and whatever else this particular conundrum, 
I would damn well know who I wanted because I would have done all my diligence as an observer watching from the outside, not privy to all the levers that need to be pulled by the FA to make sure that every facet and asset of what they want to achieve is working. It's easy to throw in names. You could mm. pick Wenger out of the equation and say, at international level, could Wenger still manage at this particular level, at this age in his career? If Roy Hodgson can still manage at 76 at domestic level, Steve Holland out the English guys is the, best, is the best option. So with that, as a coach, the, there is a the vast difference between a coach and a manager. You know this beyond mm. all of us. Well, that's the risk. You've got Lee Carsley. There's just one wonders with the under-21s. Different job. I mean, yeah. again, I'm going to contradict myself because the 21s manager stepped up. So how did Southgate get it? Well, Southgate got it. And, and ironically, ironically, when I did a, a conversation with Sam Allardyce on the podcast, he told me that Southgate was offered the job before he was even offered it. Because my understanding of the situation, if yours is any different, yes, you're was right. that Sam got the bin for his own behaviour. Yeah. And then Southgate was, you know, oh, like the bank of last call. He was, can you come in and fix the problem for us? Because we don't have anyone to turn to. But he wasn't. No. <laughs> he, See, he, this is the he thing, was the point of first call. While you were at Palace, no doubt, while your manager was working on a day-to-day -day basis, you knew in your mind who his replacement would be as and when that time would come idea. along. He didn't have any idea. He was spearing no, bloody no, rhinos no, most of the time. No, no, you're no, in the strip club. <laughs> succession pro <laughs> succession yeah. programmes are not easy because... Yeah, Dean you, Ashton's uh, you, in trouble, incidentally. We'll get to that in a bit. More often than not... Dean Ashton. More often than not, you don't, you, you're you not looking down at your number two. They are, they are very different roles, and Danny will attest to this. They are. You build a team, a manager is a manager... And an, an assistant manager is, a, is, a, is an assistant different. manager and a first team coach because they have different attributes, different skills. And when you Dean try, Austin, I meant, yeah. and when you try, Dean Austin, when you try, sorry, Dean Austin, to, uh, to 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 put a number two, yeah, into a, a manager's position, it very very rarely works out the same club. A number two can go into another club and perhaps be a manager. But very international rarely. football is very different though. Because a lot, most of the stuff at England, when you're away with that, it is about the tactics and the coaching. And and you said that they've already implemented a good discipline and well, a nice feel good. Well, they went to McLaren, the didn't they? they? We'll put you both mm. to the test right here and now. A name is all we want. So if Southgate is no longer in situ after Germany, who do you want in? Pep. <laughs> oh, in, in in some fantasy world of choosing England managers, <laughs> oh Klopp. But despite but you can't up, have a German in charge of English well, national they, team. There you are. What does that they mean? Are. They, but the bottom line is, I've asked who I'd like to manage England team. Irrespective Why would you of, like that? Because it wouldn't make no. any difference to me whether he's a bleeding German. It'd make a difference. I, if we won, the, we won the World Cup or won the European Championships, I really wouldn't care. Yeah, I thought I heard you say I'd prefer an Englishman. I well, would prefer an, English prefer an Englishman. If I if I choose but, an Englishman but, but, at the but moment, is this embarrassment of riches of English coaches that we've got yeah. sitting out there? I don't Anyhow, know if you know, but Pep doesn't hail from Rochdale, <laughs> and, and Jurgen wasn't brought up on Merseyside. Neil Warnock. There you go, Neil Warner. I'd be made up. Steve Allen got it. Yeah, Mike yeah. Bassett. There you go. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.